morning my lovers it's a bit breezy today it, it, they were predicting on the forecast 70 mile an hour winds so ooh, I've got a nice big thick hedge behind me and there's another one beyond that so I'm gonna detect near the hedge I think just to be on the safe side I don't want to get the camera blown over and land in a puddle because it'll go bang and then I'll have to get my emergency camera out not that I got it with me I got a spare for everything I got spare batteries I got spare mufflers for the thing on the top I got my headphones in case I can't hear anything I got spare plasters in case I cut myself on a bit of glass oh I gave my pinpointer another coat of paint and as you can see it's nice and bright now that will stand out like a sore thumb in the middle of the field right I've seen on the forecast that uh, in uh, the US of A the weather is considerably worse than here so there is a company now I don't want to sound as if I'm monetizing my site but there is a company in Wales somewhere that do holidays for metal detectors and I'm not going to say mention the name of the company no but uh, if you've watched uh, Aquachigger recently or the uh, Relic Recoverist um, they've featured this company and uh, even though it's a bit breezy in this country it's reasonably warm and uh, you could come over here what was I going to say then? Oh, I've forgotten. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that was it. If you can't go to work because you've got 10 foot snow drifts outside your house um, and the boss has phoned up, take a week off, why don't you take a bit of extra time off, jump on a plane, fly over here and do a bit of metal detecting? Because you can't, let's face it, you can't go metal detecting when there's 10 foot of snow outside your house can you so yeah why don't you come here I'd, I'd offer you to come to my house but it's a small house and uh, I haven't got much room I've got a garden you might be able to pitch a tent up but it'd be no fun in it when, when there's gales outside so I'm gonna have a swig of coffee now where is it ah here it is have a puff on me vaporizer and get out there and hopefully I won't get blown off my feet today. Cheers! Right, what I'm going to show you here, my lovers, is a few uh, months ago, well, probably about six months ago, or more, I saw uh, an Iron Age roundhouse on this field. And uh, what I'm going to show you is the amount of iron just where I saw the roundhouse. So the, the iron on this um, slow and low, or low and slow, whichever it is, um, will be a, like a high-pitched scream It's a bit quiet now look And as we get nearer to where the roundhouse was in there a minute just to mark it right I'll come back to that now where were we Almost a continuous tone of I. What that shows is if you've got a house and you go out with your metal detector and you detect your garden, you'll get like a lot of noise from your detector. 
that is just the build up of rubbish that's been dropped by you, previous occupants and lots of different people over time. It's just a build up of rubbish. Now, in the middle of a field where you've got a dwelling that's long since disappeared, what you're looking for is those patches where you've got that loads of noise. Because there's no building here now, it's longer. But you can find those buildings by the amount of noise in a small area in the middle of a field. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put go to the small coil in a minute, put that on and uh, see if I can sort of uh, winkle out some of those little targets that might be here. Well, look what I got here my lovers. First find I think of the day. I think it's a pot mend. I'll go and wash it off in a puddle. Yep, I think it's a pot mend, my lovers. Come on, focus. Ah, there we go. See the little gap all the way around the outside? Medieval pot mend, where you used to fix your pots with lead. Uh, very unhealthy. That's why your um, expected life expectancy back then was about 35, because you were poisoning yourselves. Right, on to the next. Is this a bit of Roman potteries, my lover? Ooh. Could be a bit of Roman floor tile. Right, let's get this cleaned up. Let's find a puddle. There's plenty of them about this time of year. Oh, that water's cold. Oh, it's got some right in on it. What's that say? Looks like ton. London. <laughs> it's a brick. Oh, God. It's a brick. Look, you can see the uh, the bit where it slopes in for the uh, mortar on the top there. It's a brick. A bit of a brick. Oh, that can go in the hedge. Oh, there it goes. Right, on to the next. Oh, this wind's getting worse. I had to walk out into the middle of the field because this bit here was so full of iron I couldn't protect it with the big coil. So what signals I did manage to sort of find, what I've done is I red pegged them and later on when I changed the coil for the smaller one, I'll go back and detect all those places where I thought I had a signal but I weren't sure. Right, I've gone out into more into the middle of the field, but the wind's really gusting. It's getting a lot worse. Look at those trees over there, my lovers. Oh, just as I show you, it stops. It's big gusts, and they. A minute ago, that tree was being thrashed around something rotten. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, you can hear it, can't you? But my microphone muffler is doing a good job at cutting out the excess noise. And a lot of people wouldn't go out in windy conditions like this because they haven't got a muffler like mine. Right, I'm going to have a swig of coffee, puff on my vaporizer, and I'm going to get back to it. Well, look what I got here, my lovers. It's one of them ringy things. Something to do with horses, I think. Right, on to the next. Oh, look at this, my lovers. Right, this looks like concrete or cement. It's got these funny big chips in it. 
and it's sort of a pinky colour. Well, the Romans invented cement and I remember watching an episode of Time Team and they said that Roman cement looks a bit pinky and this looks a bit pinky. So I'm going to wash it off and uh, give it a scrub with my toothbrush. Right, there it is, my lovers. It's very crudely made. And right on the end there, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, focus. It's got a bit of oyster shell. Well, the Romans ate oysters, didn't they? This is very crudely made. I reckon this could be a bit of Roman cement off of the Roman field. It's got a bit of limestone in there. But right on the end here, look. Where's it gone? It's not focusing. Oh, so I'm going to stand it up. Oh, it's not happening. Oh, there it is. Right on the end. There it is. Oyster shell. I reckon this is a bit of Roman cement stroke concrete, whatever they used to call it. It was a bit pinky. Right. So there might be some sort of building here nearby. I'll have to show this video to my archaeologist friends. Oh, I think I got a coin, my lovers. I think I got a coin. Right, this signal was giving me 12.45 on the uh, detector, which is sort of uh, Georgian. Maybe a threepence or a hammered coin, which would be nice. And it's in here somewhere. Ah. Oh yes. Looks Georgian. Yeah, I'd say that was King George the Third going on the thickness. Right, let's see if I can find a puddle to clean it up. There we go, look, there's Britannia. Oh, it's King George. We might be able to get a date off this one. Look at that. See George here, stand the bottom there. Let's have a quick nose, see if I can see the date. Oh yeah, he's in nice condition, this one. I can see Rex. Where's the date? He might be on this side. Ooh, that's a bit toasty, the date. Right, so it would be 1806 anyway. They're all, they're all 1806. Right, on to the next. Look what I got down in here, my lovers. Little tiny button. That was giving me a super low tone. Right. On to the next. Oh look what I got here my lovers. This is this hole here and the other hole that I just had that button from was just over here. So that's like 10-15 feet away and I think I'm on to another button. Oh yeah. Oh this one's a concave button. Got a bit of a dome. 
I must be onto a bit of a button hot spot. Right, on to the next. Go look at this, my lovers. I think I'm onto another button. I just saw it. I was swinging the detector looking for it, and there it, there it was, shining at me. Yeah, another button. <laughs> Nothing on it. No. Right, on to the next. Oh. oh, I was getting tired then. I was doing a bit too much. So I thought I'd have a rest. A swig of coffee and a puff on me vaporizer. Oh, camera's a bit off. Oh, there we go, that's better. Right. Oh. Oh, dropped me out in the mud. Yeah, the, all the clouds gone, the wind's dropped. It's turning into a not bad day. Mmm. Oh, someone's got a fire going. Burning some fallen trees. There's plenty of fallen trees. Right. Oh, ah. Ah, I just for almost forgot. Come on. Get on that. Right, there you go. Do you remember that whistle I found? The ARP whistle. I cleaned it. Cleaned it out. A little loop's gone from the top, but I got that home. I might put that back in solder it in or something and uh, I cleaned it out <whistles> someone's gonna run over here now and think I'm in trouble It's got dents in it, so it's probably not perfect. But it whistles. Right. Oh. Yeah. I reckon it could be a good sunset tonight. Yeah, the clouds are gone. It's just the right amount of clouds for a real good sunset. So, I'm going to get back to it in a minute when I'm by the rest. I think I've got a target in here, my lovers. Oh! I can see it. A bit of can slaw. A multi pack. <laughs> Oh look what I got here my lovers. Not another one. Another button. They go wild for buttons like this in America. Personally I prefer hammies. Right, I got one last peg to check and then that's it. I'm going down the pub for some jarros of ale. Right, on to the next. Oh, that's it me lovers. Right, sunset coming up next. I'm off down the pub. I will see you in a couple of days. I expect I'm gonna have a bit of a rest. I'm cream crackered. And it's gonna be the, the wind swinging round to the north here. So northerly winds is no, a bit chilly, or tend to be. So uh, I reckon possibly Sunday, Monday, looking at the uh, forecast. Right, cheers.